Today we're going to take a look into Acts chapter 22, but before we do that, let me set the background a little bit from Acts chapter 21. Paul has been accused and attacked by Jewish people. He's in the city of Jerusalem, and they're claiming that he took Gentiles, Greeks, into the temple. So this is crazy. There's an outbreak. They literally drag Paul out. They're beating him. And some soldiers, centurions, are sent down to break up the riot. And they're taking Paul up these stairs to really to question him. And that's when chapter 22 begins. And the Apostle Paul, who's been sent to the Gentiles, has always wanted to share with his people, the Jews. So he's got this captive audience, so to speak, watching him being taken away. And he asks the soldier, can I speak to these people? And they agree. So Paul turns around on the steps leading from the temple up to a place where he's going to be questioned. And he begins to share. And he shares his whole testimony. He talks about how he persecuted the church, how he was knocked from his horse on the road to Damascus, how he saw a great light, how he heard the word, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And as he's telling them the story, they're very engaged to the point where he gets to the place where he says, God told me to go to the Gentiles. And they erupt again. And they say, away with this man. He's not fit to live. So there he is in the midst of this drama. And what do do we learn from this chapter that's all about Paul being beaten and arrested and sharing his testimony? A couple of things. One, Paul was faithful. Two, Paul was courageous. Three, Paul was willing to even suffer for Christ by sharing his own testimony. And here's the thing, you and I, we, we need to be faithful, we need to be courageous. And all of us, you, me, everyone who's a believer has a testimony. Don't be afraid to share it. Don't be afraid to tell the truth about what Christ has done in you and for you. Paul certainly wasn't. And this is given to us as an example of those who are willing to stand up for their faith.